of us, we're stuck. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is it. So I've got to be careful now, aren't I? Head torch, yeah. big knives, a good fire, good sleeping setup. We've got the essentials and food and water. We've got water. Um, we just need food, so we're off to get food now. Look at the colour of him. Yeah. Oh, no, eh? This is mine. This is my food. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode. It's absolutely blowing its tits out here on the east coast of Cape York. Um, if you haven't watched last episode, make sure you jump back and watch that because it was a ripper. But basically it's, I don't know, maybe four o'clock, 3.30, something like that. And um, we're camping down here at the river mouth because the tide's too low to get way back up the river to our main camp. Um, so we've got hammocks. We're just getting everything out of the boat at the moment. Dan's all packed. Oh, night. Oh, I'm worried about. He's got his big machete on the back. Is it on there? Yeah, it's in there. So that's the thing. Like, I'm even intimidated by that machete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intimidated by the crocodiles in this river, and we're yeah. we're sleeping up on the bank in hammocks. But we should be. We're gonna get. That's that's what this episode will be about. We're gonna build an awesome little camp, get the hammocks up nice and high, and then we're gonna go and catch dinner before it gets dark. So but you can see the setup. Epic system. But when the tide's this low, it's a bit hard to fish. There's a really cool creek over here, but we can't get there. Um, so anyway, we need to set up camp while it's light and safe, and then we're going to go hunting, see what we can get. Hopefully dinner. we can get a fish. It's hard to even fish when it's blowing this, yeah. you know, blowing this strong. So I, I reckon that it'd be close to 25, 30 knots. Yeah, it's really blowing. So. Eh? And this is what happens on the East Coast, but it's going to be fun. Let's get all that gear up there, eh? Alrighty. As you can probably see, it's so bloody windy. Dan's up there, can you see that line of trees? That's where we're going to set up the hammocks and the boat. Way down there behind us because there's a steep bank. When that tide comes in, it's going to be, and then runs back out in the morning, it's going to be much easier to get the boat safely. So we're just dragging all our gear up here to the safest spot we can find. Sleep up in the trees. You explain how you're going to do your hammock, mate. Well, this is it guys, this is camp for the night. Let's look through the trees, I don't know if you can see the white cap. The wind is absolutely howling, and we're just saying if we'd have punched out to the island out there, we'd be in all sorts of trouble right now. But we're all good. So we're going to set up the hammock. My hammock's going to go from this tree up in the top here. Yeah, go up somewhere around here. Yeah. And then come across, I don't know, maybe to here. And then I can climb up the tree to get in. Even, even, I reckon your rig's there. Yeah. I reckon you get to that. Well, they're pretty, they've got good long ropes on them. Yeah, they do. Good stretch. Yeah. And they're kick-ass hammocks, so they're gonna they're gonna keep us safe from and the mosquitoes. The why we're going up so high, there's probably the most obvious reason. Yeah. Possums. <laughs> they're bad around here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so nah, you and I. Yeah, big no, bloody crops. reptiles. And then Dan, 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 where are you going? Mate, I'm gonna have a crack. I'm gonna have a crack. I think going from up up around that branch here. This would be a good test for these road mics because it is blowing its ringer out. So that's the plan. We've got to set up and then we're going to build a big barrier under here near my hammock. So all the wind's blowing the embers away. And, uh, but we'll build a nice big barrier, dig a hole, and um, set up a fire to cook on. And then we're going to catch something to cook. Yeah. Then we're going to go for a walk and um, hopefully catch some dinner. So we'll set up and then get you back on the camera.
Right, I just realised I just filmed that with no audio because the, this new mic wasn't plugged in. So last thing we need here is a coconut. We're going to rip this open and use the husk to get this fire going with a flint. Um, I'll quickly show you the hammocks. Here's me. I'm up here in this parachute here. Dan's looking like a sugar glider. Sugar glider up here in the trees. That's his spot, so. Mine looks like a kite surfer gone bad. Yeah. He's <laughs> like caught in the tree. You're right up there, Dan. Yeah. Now, nah, with the sun setting, you can see the sun behind the trees over here. And um, we got no food yet, so we're going to go chase some tucker and, um, and then come back and get this fire going and hopefully have a chilled night. And you're probably all thinking we're bloody mad, but like, it's not enjoyable, but Dan and I love this stuff. Oh, what an adventure. We don't even know if we're eating tonight. We are mad. What are you doing? We got to Should we just get it prepped and then just go catch some food? Yeah. And then come back and light it. Just have a head torch and everything ready. Yeah, but let's build this wall, hey? Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, we don't have the microphone running at the moment, so it's probably really bad audio, but we're going to build a bit of a wall in here, a bit of a barrier, um, dig in some sticks. We're going to use this ironing board that we found, dig a big hole, and try and get a nice safe fire going so we can cook some dinner. Dan's going to do some gardening while he's at it. Right. No worries, first, guys. First route tonight. Got to send some material there for him. sleeping set up we got the essentials and food and water we got water um, we just need food so we're off to get food now we'll go check on the tinnies so that's just tying the mr. plonk's rope off onto the um, bow of the boat there and um, just gonna dig the, the plonk right in we're just gonna tie the boat off in three points the tide's starting to come in now and the way it came in last night it's flat stick so just trying to block that wind a bit so we're gonna run a two bow lines off the front of it and run a um a rope off the stern up to the trees there so when that tide pushes up tonight it'll be anchored the boat will pretty much be able to just be tied off from the points here's the boat tied off two points up on shore and it can just float up and down with the tide pretty much so yeah we definitely don't want to muck around with the boat if we lose that we're well, hey! holy hell that was the anchor uh, I think he's giving me the hurry up. All right. Dig, 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 dig. And you want to do this properly because nothing worse than waking up at 12 o'clock tonight going, is that done right? That's not a good feeling. I just think that. Sunk the plonk in here. I don't know if you saw it or not. I probably had the camera not quite right, but sunk the plonk right down here. There's the rope going down. Just back fill her up like that. Then we just got the anchor. We'll do the same with the anchor here. Might be up high with the anchor, eh? We've got a bit extra rope, but then that's another good point. We're just this is right up out of the high tide mark here, eh? So we've got plenty of stick. Turn. Right around up into the trees here. That's that situation going on that holds the back. And we've got anchor line running up there. Anchor line running in here, buried. Plonk buried. That's the setup.
connection. connection. You happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, same. Yeah, that was good. Right yep. yeah. cool. uh, I'm going to have to be quick because uh, I'm on 3% on the GoPro, but we're just back here at where we had, where we cooked up our lunch um, on the last episode. And as you can see, it's dark. We're in the mangroves here, but there's a bit of a honey hole behind us where we caught some Jack and Barra and that the other day. So um, we're going to try catch dinner and we'll walk back to camp, cook it up on the fire. But I uh, won't be able to record much at the moment. One, because the batteries are flat. Two, because it's pitch black and we've got to be super careful with crocodiles here. So um, yeah, all our attention is really going to go to safety at the moment. But um, Dan's just starting to walk him down, so I'm going to chase after him. All right, we didn't catch dinner. We just arrived back at camp. We're gonna get this fire going. There's something about having fire and warmth when you when it's windy and cold and you got no food and it, the fire just makes you feel all better. You're at home, you know? So I think Dan's gonna mix up some rice flour that we got from the seasoning and some water. And we're gonna put it in a pan and make like a pizza base or something just to nibble on. And um, I'm gonna rip apart this husk here and get a fire going. I think what I'll do is get some oil, put some oil on that side. The oil will help brown it, I think. On top, you reckon? Yeah, just a little, just a smidge, just rub it around. And then it won't be stuck it when it goes into the damn top of that. How good does this look? Just the simple things in life. We just got rice flour and water mixed together and a bit of olive oil. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to taste like, but I'm so excited. It doesn't matter. Nah. I'm still hungry again. Yeah. yeah. Campfire next to a remote creek. Cape York, far north Queensland. Not much better than this. We're just saying well, we might try and get a mud crab and chuck it on the Osprey for breakfast. Because you've got no breakfast either. Dan's just flipped out. Uh, we're calling it a naan bread. And we've just flipped it and it's perfect. It looks so good. And we're just saying how good it would be with like some garlic powder in it. Maybe. Um, a bit of cheese through it. What else did you say? Olives. Oh, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, yeah. garlic. It's just like a flat damper. Fresh chive, basil. This is going to be our new thing. Yeah. yeah. We're actually really excited about it. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. I know it doesn't look like much, but anyway. It does, excited, yeah. it does to us. When you're hungry, it's looking good. We're actually, we're also going to boil the billy and have a glass of hot water. <laughs> well, and when I thought main accounts were cooking fish, mate, and catching fish, look what we've, look what we've produced. <laughs> the Osbrides, well, the Osbrides become a stand for us tonight, but anyway, they're a cracking little piece of machinery. We'll cook on it tomorrow, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? You're happy with that for dinner? Oh, mate, I'm stoked with this. That actually looks really good. So, I mean, looks like a little mini pizza. Have this and then get a good night's sleep in these hammocks. Pizza on the oh, that smokes like cane and it's ah. Anyway, no mozzies. Yeah. The wind's still the wind. The wind's actually backed off from about 40 knots to about 20, so that's pretty good. That's a glass of frost at the moment. It's pretty much not. I had a big day. Yeah. We're pretty a shattered, day. eh? I'm shattered. We'll see you guys in the morning. I'm not early. No, I'm not crying. That's just smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah.
Good morning, guys. What a wild night that was. Those hammocks were blowing around a bit, but they're such an amazing product. Um, such a good way to sleep. You know, we're up really high. We're safe from the crocs. The tide came right up last night, which we pretty much knew it would. And um, you would not want to be on the ground where, where, you know, this close to the water where we are in far north Queensland. But, <clears throat> yeah, we both got a good night's sleep. Um, just boiling the billy, gonna make a cup of coffee and then Dan's got the drone up in the sky for the sunrise, don't know if you guys can see that no you can't, but the sunrise is popping through just over here behind this big tree and it's absolutely stunning, I'll show you that in a sec so yeah, Dan's out flying the drone, he loves flying the drone um, capturing that for you guys and I'll make a coffee and then we're gonna go for a walk and catch breakfast don't know what we're gonna get yet but hoping to do, do some fishing today get some good fish um, but this morning we just need whatever we can find to eat um, so we've got enough energy to get through the day and then when this tide comes in again like later to, or later today it should come in mid-morning it does like a half tide and it should be enough water to get back to camp so that's the plan um, it was so windy it was wild this is the the wildest, windiest camp I've ever had in hammocks. And as you can see here, we're extremely high up in the trees. The tide came right up here to where Dan is. That's the high tide line. And as you can see now, it's way out. So um, we've set the, the hammocks up right up in the trees to be safe from, from crocodiles. Um, and you just get a good night's sleep. They're so amazing. This was me, you know, a good meter and meter and a half off the ground. And Dan's up here. Nearly two meters off the ground. But yeah, as you can imagine, super windy and tied to trees. It was, we were blowing around a bit, but we were both so exhausted from a big day that we slept through it all. So yeah, like I said, the plan is have a cup of coffee and then um, get down and hunt some breakfast. Be really good to, on this low tide to walk the mangroves and look for a mud crab maybe for brekkie and then go do some serious fishing. So yeah, that's the plan. Can't wait to get into it. So, just to prove to you guys that Dan and I are just out here having fun. We just walked about a kilometer down this creek here towards the river mouth, looking for mud crabs and um, I looked at Dan and said, mate, we've forgotten the camera. We've forgotten all of you on YouTube. 3,000 of you just wondering where we've gone. Where's the action? So Dan's like, all right, mate, I'll wait here. You run back. So I've just run back to camp, pick up the camera. Oh, now I've forgotten the fishing rod. Bloody hell. We're looking for mud crabs, but you've got to have a rod with you because we need breakfast. So. I see a queenie or something. <sighs> Gotta be ready for anything. Nothing in there, eh? Nah, I went deep in there and like, because it's like sandy like this on this side, and then it's like just mud all the way through, and then sandy on the other side, like a good little inlet for yeah. it, but nah, nothing. Nothing. Anyway, it's nice though, the mangroves aren't super tight, so you can actually climb yeah, over. Not they're high, but they're not tight. And you feel a bit safer, don't you? Cause... Yeah. Actually, it's like an enchanted forest in yeah. there, but it's yeah. so dark. So you're probably all wondering why Dan's got the spear gun. Um, spear guns are, we well, just got this one. Just a cheapie for this trip. Another play, to, Yeah, to play around with. And, um, uh, and we don't have a gun, so we just got it in a boat with us just for a bit of safety just in case something happens with a croc. And I'm going to be honest, I'm a first time spearer. Yeah. I've never, I've never speared fish before, so I'm pretty keen to get out there and have a bit of a crack at it. Yeah, we're, we're hoping, we're talking to Wally and he reckons, um, he reckons he's got a spot he's going to take us to, so yeah. we're hoping. And I think up here you've got to be slightly a bit more Cautious. educated on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> with a croc and that. Yeah. You know, it's good to talk to Wally. But for now, we just need to concentrate on breakfast. Mate, I couldn't get a better backdrop for you. Hey? Just trying to catch breakfast, guys. Anything we'll do right now.
I think it'd be a good little spot for Queen is a trevally through here, right? There's a little pressure point, little sandbar up through there. And it's um pushing the water through in a pretty good stream where this little glassy section is, so hopefully Nath can yeah. Where's the goods? Right eh? So we're just doing a quick scout out through the mangroves here. Just chasing um, the muddies. And uh, we just found a few, only about 100 mil, look like maybe little jennies down in there. And these guys through here, but... Probably three or four of them in there, hey? We yeah. think there's probably a big buck around then, but... Normally that's how they operate. Yep. They, um, you have a, especially when you put your pots in, you end up with like a heat, you'd end up with like eight jennies in a pot. But I'd say there'll um, be a big buck there somewhere, so... Here's, look, here's, look, here he is, here. Get him, get him, get him. I'll keep an eye on the water. Go on, don't be scared. No, he's the other side, then get the other side. There we go. Hey, watch out. What's that water there, man? Yeah, you're watching the water, aren't you? Yeah, I got nine. Get him. Just grab him, mate. Oh, hey. Good job. Only a little one. Good. Oh, little Jenny, there you go. So we're right. Yep. We've seen a heap of these little Jennies around. Back out of that water. And let's just say, in a survival situation, you wouldn't die out here. No, nah, well, that's it. Aboriginals eat them. Yep. So. But we're going to let her go. Once again, there's a nice big flap there for the Jenny. Yep. Go enjoy your morning. Tell us where your boyfriend is. Yeah, <laughs> he must be here somewhere. Crab two. Oh. He's got the stick. Watch the water, man. I'm coming back. Yep. I'm trying to film and keep an eye on that water. I can see through it. Nah. Let him go, let him go. Okay. Oh, you can't, can you? It's like the flint. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab him? Little, oh, little Jenny, eh? But, hang on. Grab her, get out of here. <sighs> Not okay. the, little Jenny again. Not quite the proper way to pick it up. See how fin you can nearly, like, she can nearly get her claws around in my fingers. You should have around these back swimmer legs here. But anyway, good enough. Yeah. So, um. These little ones are not as bad, but the big ones will oh, take yeah. your finger. You won't want to get your fingers in there. Throw it back. Look how deep that is just up there, man. I'm pretty keen on grabbing a rod there. This looks like a proper honey hole. Nate's <laughs> no, reckon this is a honey hole. There's a honey badger. I didn't think it looked like that, but he must too. <laughs> I reckon this is, I reckon there'll be some fish in here and the water's moving in. Yep. We tried to get into this creek mouth yesterday, if you watch back on that episode, and it was too shallow, but it had like a big hole in the mouth. We decided to move on, but... Look, look, look at even the little back eddies starting to form too. Hard to fish, not hard to fish safely, but we'll, I'm going to walk back and grab our rods and we'll come back. Oh. Mosquitoes are thick in here. Um, we're just having a few casts in this epic little creek we just found. So this creek is right behind the ocean. The ocean's maybe, I don't know, 30 metres over there. Um, and this looks amazing, the tide's pushing in, which means we only get this one tide to get back to camp. So, um, 
we don't have long. We're going to have to run back to camp, our, our little hammock tent, hammock camp, and um, throw the stuff in the boat and start moving upstream. Dan's done. We're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, and we're super low on batteries today, so we'll do the best we can. That's why we're not filming too much just yet. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's go, go, go. Right, let's go. We've retreated, too many mozzies. Um, and this tide's pushing in, so we got to get back to the boat. We're going to cross that little tiny creek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little creek back near our little camp that we got to we got to walk through. Hopefully it's not too sketchy. But I just want to spend a week here. Don't you reckon? Just exploring. Man, well, this is... When you think it's like you're where your camp's good and you get to a place like this, it's then like tenfold of what you Yeah. Ah. Like last night with that wind, some of you might have been thinking, what the hell are these guys doing? That looks oh. terrible. I was thinking, what are we hell yeah. doing? <laughs> but you wake up to this, this is why we do it. Yeah. Uh. All right, we're high and dry, but that's better than... Um, losing the boat or the boat being out there and us being stuck up here at a high tide. So um, that's easy. That's why we've got the little tinny and not a big boat. We can just push it down in the water. And then we're going to shoot straight across and try this creek over here, I reckon. That looks like a nice little honey hole. I'm starving. As you guys saw, we didn't catch any food. Unfortunately, we're in a rush because of the tide to get back up the river. I just want to spend all day here, all, all week. Wow, that... Coming in hot. That's deep. Let's have a wash, eh? We haven't had a shower or a wash in a few days. And I can smell Dan. I smell pretty good, but Dan, it's hard to be around. Pretty, pretty deep, but I can we just go for a walk up here. How good is this? Oh, I love spots like this. There's a beautiful little hole up in here like we can swim in. Nice safe spot. I love how it's just forever changing here. In Northern Australia with these tides, like we came in through here yesterday and it just, it looked different. Oh, it's amazing. What do you got? Get it in before the battery runs out. Queenie. He's got a little queenie. Good job, mate. Oh. Just fell off the boat. How good's this? Hey, hey, first line. Come on. These things are a dime a dozen up here, the Queen Fish and Trevally, as you can see it's super deep through here and they're just, there's constant movement, constant fish coming through. They spin down around. It's a little electric chicken. Yeah. Atomic electric chicken, eh? Nice job. Good little fight. Yeah. They're good fighting anyway. Yeah, it's good fun. Hey. Good fun. You got a big fella? A little bit bigger. Watch little, out for that. Yeah. Little barra. Oh yeah, bring one from your line. Eh? Yep. And just watch, I've got a jig head just there too. Right, I'm pull him in. Ah, nice. That's what we're chasing. Yeah, little barra, I reckon what, 45 centimetres, so not big enough, but I did see a big one, so. It looks beautiful though, it's got nice colouring. Yeah, yeah, and they're hitting. That's the excitement, we just got here to this spot, so. I'm excited, let's get it back, we'll get him back. See you later, mate.
Oh, I'm eager on that snag there. Smacked ya. He came out too. Yeah. Woo! There you go. Nice work, mate. Quick photo and then back in the water. Quick release. Oh, I like that sort of release. Chill. Beautiful. There you go, tiny little barra. East coast to Cape York. Let's get him back in and chase some big girls, eh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Woo! Little rat, but that's two casts for two fish. Smacked it, mate. <laughs> nice work. Quick photo without getting a treble in there. That is the Atomic Slim Twitcher, and it's just doing the job. Two, two casts, two fish. Full remote, East Coast Cape York. Yeah. How epic epic stuff. Take three. Take three. Atomic Slim Twitcher. This will be three from three. Just if you get it. Yeah, just done two from two. It's got the hat trick coming up. Come on, Kenny, do it. Come on. Pressure's on. Hey, pressure's on, mate. At least got to be 60. That's a nice honey hole right there. Yep. Three oh, three, three from three. Three from three. Woo! Oh, you spoiled the hook. Oh, hey. We'd have to call that a leg boy, I'd say. Yeah, LBW, mate. All right, let's go again. Yeah. Back to the bunker for you. Oh, I'll get the other side. Come on. Hardly any battery left today. We're on. We're on a nice iPhone. Come on. Oh. Show them how good you really are. They do film pretty damn good. These. Are. There's another one on it too. Ah! It's almost like I need another rod in the water, but I'm too busy filming. Aye. They're tiny little ratters, but. Barrows are off. The biggest one so far is 50. Oh, I'm going to get my line everywhere. Yeah. That might give me a good chance to get in and get my line in, mate. Yeah, okay, that's right. Nice, mate. That's how we do it. Far North Queensland. Wild reaches. Oh, Dan's trying a different spot. We just got, f what, three from three or four from four or something off this snag. And the last one, the last cast I threw in there, a little little rat came out and hit it and I could see a big one behind him trying to get it too. So they're fighting for the lures. All right, mate, pressure's on. I don't know where to try. Go no, oh, he's thrown a wide ball. I meant for it. Dan loves his soft plastics, whereas I love the hard bodies. Actually, I do love soft plastics. They're fun. It's good to... It's just a good mixture. Yeah, it's good to change it up, eh? Yeah. Well, it's good for both of us to have different ones in the water. Yeah, that's what I think. Let's see how good the... Mix it up. Oh, I think he was just getting his eye in, because look at that. They're right, they're right on it, though. Yeah, right at the, at the mangroves, aren't they? Yeah, on the right-hand side. They're sitting under that thing sticking out there. But they're right under it. What did I say? I got four from four. Yeah, no, yeah. So have I. I got four, nothing. <laughs> four cars. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Oh, oh, he's jumped it off. How do you feel about oh, that, buddy? Good, mate, good. <laughs> it gets your heart going, doesn't it? It does, eh? Because they hit so hard and you just like yeah. load it up. Yeah. Let alone, I don't want to be pulled back into the mangroves with him. Look at that. It just must be swimming through those little... I had my doubts about this higher tide, but so far so good. We need to find some structure like we had that little... Stop filming now, it's not doing so well. <laughs> Camera's on. Right. Nato. This line him, mate. This one That's decent. Legal. That's decent. Yeah, look at the nice gold on his. Well, Lovely gold little colour, eh? All right. ah. 
the atomic. Let him twitch out again. Hold on to him. Doing the damage. Yeah. Cool. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful colour to him, eh? Beautiful fish. Hey, look at that little native bee. Oh. Sorry, man. <laughs> Dan gets distracted so easily. Yeah. Nah, they're only small, but there's heaps in here, which is awesome. Yeah. I'm pumped. And they're getting bigger and bigger. But I think we're going to let this one go. Yeah. Actually, we might keep it, eh, if it's the right size. Yeah, maybe. well, we haven't. We've got what? Got a queenie in there. Queenie. So and we haven't had breakfast. And it's nearly lunchtime. If you're wondering why I'm using these lip grips, because they're so bloody remote, you get a treble in you out here. Yeah. And it's um it's all bad. Whoa, it's gotta get bad. gotta get used to this phone. Nathan wants his 80. Nathan's gonna get his 80. He's gonna get it, you reckon, eh? Mm -hmm. Funny how you can So he's got a he's got a bit of a twitch. Well, he's got a twitch on his face, but he's got a good twitch on his rod as well. My eye only twitches when you're around, Dan. True, eh? Stress me out. <laughs> Mate, I'm not the stressful partner here. We're running, we're running the gauntlet with the tide, I think. Oh, yeah. Nath, Nath is pretty happy to... But what the problem is, is that's home for us that way. The river mouth is that way. And this tide is draining awfully quick we're this way. Off. We're a long way down. And he's nailed it. Perfect timing. You can but then all, he... Slick all day at these snags and you think you're good, but all these bar are sitting out wide here. Yeah. That, that's how you lose them. And he's lost it again. What's going on? I don't know. Look, I've got a scale on that time at least. Hey, that's all right. I've got two scales. We could probably put some oil on that and salt and bake that. Well, yeah, fry them. Probably they're hungry. Fry. Hungry. But yeah. One more, baby. Hey, one more. No, because um, I think when we first come up here, what was that? Not. Two days ago. Two days, yeah. Two, two days ago. It's so hard to keep track of the time. We had to leave. We left around about nine o'clock in the morning, and the tide was pretty low. But we know the tide's gathering time over the days, so yeah, the best we're thing hoping. about it is because I drive the boat. Dan's got to get out and push it, so I'm not really bothered what happens. <laughs> Mate, this is your call, <laughs> and as you can see, walking is not really an option here. Come on. about these Bastet boosts. <laughs> That's three from three. Yeah. What's going on there? Oh. Trebles are all good. Hang on, you gotta... You sure that's not a hammer? You gotta, you gotta give me... <laughs> it's a, a, cut, a chippy what? blaming his hammer. <laughs> One more minute. I'm gonna change this lure. Off. Like, quick, you watch. I'm trying not to swear on camera. We'll be all good. Anyway, they're down deep, so I'm going to go to an atomic power minnow. Now it'd be nice to have a two and a half. There we go, two and a half meters. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Then we're back. All right, we've changed lure. We lost what three from three or four from four or something crazy. I'm in the danger zone here. We're getting them down deep. How wild reaches you have is what you got. They like something about that. Meter and a half. It's just suspending on that. Mm. This guy floats, the other one's just suspending. Uh, yep, yep. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. <laughs> Mate, if we are pushing this boat... I'm actually tempted to ask for one more minute and one more lure change. No. Like, ran you've seen me get angry randomly.
if I'm pushing a boat. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get all your hard bodies and tip them out in the water. Nice. All right, here we go. One more. Okay, one more. That means about that many more. I've learnt that. Go on, Dave. Well, that's where they were. Yeah. They were hanging off that. They're deep and wide. Yep. Right. Oh, here we go. Come on. Let's see. Oh, I don't know where to go. Do you want me on it, fish? Yeah, you might jump. Staying deep. They are, eh? Yeah. Here he is. He's up. He's up, up, up. Bring him up. He looks... Whee! Oh, he's going the run on you. Still green. He's going the run on you, mate. That's a 10 in his ride. They're beautiful. That's, that's a, they load up really good, eh? Ah! Do you want me to net that? No, I want to see you pull that in. Ah, oh, persistence, persistence, persistence. It always pays off. That's a healthy fish, mate. That looks a lot healthier. Oh, I've got a mate flying on me. I've got, got it. Easily distracted. Where is he? March fly again. There you go, guys. Look at him. Nate's caught a March fly. No, he hasn't. How's that? Not bad. Bit yeah, small, no, that's, but... yeah, he's a bit small, but anyway. But that's a, yeah, mate, you persisted and it paid yeah. off. Yeah. Well, I did dance trick and didn't press record, so oh, let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we've just been hammering up the river here. As you can see, the water's moving pretty quick. And like this bank here, you can see it's all wet over there. So the high tide, this has all been underwater not long ago. It's raging out and we've got a long way to go to get back to camp. But we just come around this corner. Dan's on the front, up on the bow, pointing me in the right direction and dodging trees and stuff as we come through these skinny sections. And this one here, I mean, look at the structure. It's just a big bend, it's nice and deep. There's water moving through there. So we want to catch another fish. We've got a little legal barra in the, in the boat already to have for lunch and, um, and that queenie. So we're going to have a big cook up when we get back to the Land Cruisers. And uh, yeah. Charge everything. Hey? And charge everything. Yeah, everything's flat. But thanks to Anna Drive and Battery World Noosa, we've got their kick ass power station back in the Land Cruiser. We're going to get everything charged up, drones, GoPros, the phone, everything, and um, go on another adventure. That's worth stopping, eh? Nice little jack. Funny, hey? Like red lure and red jack. You know what? I thought that the other day. Mm. When I caught that jack, I had the same. I had a red um, soft plastic on. Mm. I was like, wow. <laughs> Are they attracted to it? But right there in that colour change. Yeah. You know, you really hit that hard. All right. All right. Looks like we're back at camp, buddy. Mate, I don't know what you call me, head bloody uh, head sailor man up here, I suppose. <laughs> the head, but, head guide. Head guide. But you look down here, and there's literally probably about 600 mil of water left. In the like, deep, in the deep section. In the deeper section. I reckon we literally would have, if you missed it by like 20 minutes, we would have been jammed back there. And the thing is, we would have been jammed in the mangroves. So, yeah. And that tide doesn't come back in again until like, what, 8, 9 o'clock tonight? Yeah. And it's a rushing tide. So. That's the problem, it's getting stuck halfway. Like, we would have been stoked to have been stuck down there at the river mouth, but um, uh, we're running out of water. But uh, we wanted to get back to camp just to film some different stuff for you guys. There's our channel that we are able to actually yeah. come in through now. This is literally the channel. We're just, no. we're just putting through. We yeah. made like another yeah. half an hour. What do you reckon, half hour? Oh, half an hour. Oh, man, that is really running out so quick now, eh? Half hour, we would have been, we would have been pretty stuck on about those last 10 bends. So uh, that was good fun. Yeah, I'm glad Stressful, to, but yeah, we're back. It's stressful, but yeah, we're glad to get back and um, we're gonna have a good cook up, eh? Yeah. Charge, charge everything up. Yeah. Everything's so flat. Must be some good content there, but everything's flat, eh? <laughs> yeah, I hope it's good stuff, guys.
All right, let's get back. Oh. All right, guys. No, I didn't. Not yet. Oh yeah, a bit of fish, fish taste in there. Yeah, we're gonna cook a roast. We're just debating whether we wash the camp oven or not. Looks like we're not washing it. Um, <laughs> we're just having a cruisy night. We're gonna cook a roast in the camp oven and some roast veggies, and we probably won't film it because we did a cooking segment today, and that was pretty kick-ass already. But we just had Wally down here for a chat and um, made a bit of a plan for in a couple of days' time. We're gonna go down to a spot called Running Creek, and um, he reckons there's an island out off there and there's crayfish. So I don't reckon there is. He said there is. He's he's he's, he's, he's dived it. He has, hasn't he? He's dived yeah. it and caught cray. So. But he also said there's crocs go out to that same island. He's seen crocs on the island. So it's going to be interesting. I'm pumped, but we're both pretty tired. So um. So keep tuned for episode probably like oh yeah. two time two times two, from here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, a, yeah. Whatever that. Something like that. I don't know. Six weeks. Four, four weeks. I don't know. But um, that's it for another episode. Hope you enjoyed today. Uh, we sure did. We just had one of the, like, all our adventures are like this. Dan and I just pumped up afterwards because this is what we live for. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed that, you know, camping in a spot that not many people get to go to and a spot we've never been to before we're on traditional lands like we were hunting for our own food and then we just got back because the tide was like look, look at it now look at this there's no water left in there it's like a hundred mil deep so you know this is this is what we do hey sometimes sometimes i think that big people would look at us and go oh no there's music playing in the background you can't have music playing in the background for copyright purposes um Musty Creek, where I was in last year, end of last year, and we haven't been back since because of COVID. So um, I'm so excited for that. That place is spiritual. There's something special about Musty Creek, and there's a lot of barramundi. So stay tuned. If you want a shirt, they're all on online, www.wildreaches.com. Um, you can get long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever you want. Um, thanks for your support. We love and appreciate every one of you, and we'll see you on the next episode.